Hey guys and welcome to this Kerbal Space Program tutorial. Today I will be teaching you how to install and use the Kerbal Space Program mod Dark Multiplayer. This is a mod that enables a third party server, another software if you will, to swap the information about player locations between different players so they can be displayed on each other's screens essentially granting something that looks like multiplayer. I'm going to make a few assumptions here based on the fact that you're watching this video. The first is that you have Kerbal Space Program. The second is that you have it via Steam. If you don't have it via Steam, just remember where your game is installed and you can probably use this tutorial to figure out the rest. So the first thing you want to do is open up your browser, go to your favorite search engine and type in KSP DMP, that's Kerbal Space Program D Dark Multiplayer. One of the top options should be DMP KSP Multiplayer. You can tell you've got the right address with d-mp.org. In here, there is a whole load of information. There's server lists on the go, but you don't want any of that. You just want this download. Now, if you just want to connect to a server, all you want to do is click this DMP client, save it to your downloads folder. If you are looking to run the server as well, make sure you click on the DMP server file. A couple of minutes later, both these will be downloaded. I'm going to open my client folder and we will talk installing DMP for Windows. So when you open your zip, you will find a page much like this with DMP client written on it. Inside you will find a game data folder. That's very important that that game data folder is there. The next thing you want to do is open up your Steam library. In here you should be able to find your Kerbal Space Program install. Yours might not be at the top, it's very likely to be in alphabetical order. Down the bottom you will have properties and if you could collect local files browse local files. These are the two steps you need to get into your game folder. If you want to go direct, it's C program files, Steam, Steam apps, common, Kerbal space program. That is, of course, if you followed the standard install. So the next thing you want to do is take this game data folder and you'll see there's another game data folder. Just kind of drop it in the same folder. If you drop it on top of that folder, you're going to have all sorts of issues. Drop it in the main folder. You'll get a few uh, questions. Do you want to install this? Yes, of course you do. And then when you go in to make sure it's there, you've got dark multiplayer and then you can go in and have a look. And yes, that is there. Let's discuss how to... Sorry, a copy there that didn't actually mean to happen. Let's discuss how to actually use this. I'm going to boot up my Kerbal Space Program. I will spare you the load procedure. So immediately upon loading in, you will notice that you have a new page here. I recommend that you change your name up top as quick as possible because this will say player else and then you will be trying to log in with the same name and DMP does not like that. So the first thing you do, change your name. You will then want to add a server. Now hopefully you will have had a chat with your local administrator and he will be like, hey, here is the address 192.168. Could possibly be this address if you are running it on the same machine you are running Kerbal from. If not, chances are they will give you something beginning with like a 2.97 or something like that. Uh, call it whatever you want to call it and leave the port the same because chances are it's going to be the same. I'm going to call mine local just because that's where it is. And you literally click, make sure you have it selected. If you do not have this selected, you'll notice that you cannot click connect. So you click on the one that you want and click connect to join. From here, the game works almost exactly like normal. You have Gene trying to tell you everything about the game that you already know how to play. Uh, but here is a quick overview of the extra stuff Dark Multiplayer will install. The first thing you have is a player list here. If there are more players, they'll tell you what the player names are and what time zone they belong in. Dark Multiplayer works by giving everyone their own little time bubble and you can go and sync up with them if you click on their name and then a, a small sync button will appear there. Uh, you can turn chat on and off so obviously you can type in here, talk to all the other players on your server, uh, you can share craft files, screenshots and don't worry about the debug. If you are just a KSP player and don't want to install the server files you are all done now. If you need to install the server, server, server tutorial is just coming up. 
Okay, now for how to run the Dark Multiplayer server. I am going to assume that you're going to run this on your home PC. I will put out a another tutorial for how to install this on Linux later, um, as I this is something I had to figure out myself. Uh, so you would have downloaded the DMP server files. You will get this this rip here, this RAR, sorry. Uh, put your DMP folder back here somewhere. You need to be able to access it um, in a non-zipped format. Inside you will find a few files here. If you just double click your DMP server, this will boot up and you'll see a whole load of other options will appear. Immediately shut this back down because we are not done. So a few files that you need to take note of here. You've got your bands and your key bands. Mod control is a file that you need to keep an eye on. In here, this lists all the parts that are available for Dark Multiplayer to say are acceptable. Uh, if you want to add mods, this is the list you need to add stuff to. And if this is something you need help with, drop a comment down below. I will do another tutorial for that, but we're not going to worry about that for now. There is something we do need to worry about though, and that is this settings file. You can see here we have a whole load of stuff, but there's only a few things you really need to worry about. The first is this game mode. If you want to play anything other than sandbox, this is where you change it. I do not recommend the career mode. The way Dark, Mul Dark Multiplayer works is it uh, destroys and creates a lot of... Um, a lot of ships and kerbals all the time. So in career mode, you are losing reputation all the time because people are always dying and coming back. Uh, here are your game hardnesses. This is the whitelisted. If you uh, want to make a private server, make sure you change that to true. Another setting that you might want to change would be this mod control. Now, normally, as a well-prepared and forethoughtful admin, you would actually be using the mod control folder, but you can turn this off completely, and then anyone can use whatever part they like. I do not recommend that because you have all sorts of desync issues when people come in with mods that other people do not. Keep ticking whilst true, uh, keep ticking whilst offline. I actually recommend setting that to false so nothing happens whilst you're not online. But if you are one of these people who will turn the subspace sequence off, i.e. it will always run in real time, then maybe true is the one you want. Send player to latest subspace. I actually recommend putting false on this so people come back where they left from. If this is true, they will join the time of the last person, the latest one that is currently running, which could be years in the future of where they expect to. Don't worry about all these debug levels. Cheats, true or false, dependent on whether you want to do it. Change your DMP server name, Twitchy server. It's always nice. Max number of players, screenshots. Most of this is all just common sense. If you just go through, read the notes, everything will make sense. Make sure you save it. And then if you are running on your machine, you are ready to go. You literally just open this up. Um, tell people your address. Now, there's either two ways of doing this. If you are on a, a LAN and you're playing locally, open your command window up. Type the words ipconfig. Uh, this is Windows only, unfortunately. And in here, you will see that you have a few options. One of them is IP version 4 address 192.168.1.2. Yours will be different but this is the address you want. Of course, you're very likely to have been asking people to join from outside on the big wide internet. So if you type external IP address into your favorite search engine, Google will tell you right at the top, but some of the others you have to go looking and there is my external IP. You then need to do some port forwarding. If you don't know how to port forward, I'm not gonna cover that here. I will put some resources down in the doobly-doo. So if you wanna research that, you can then all literally all you need to do is as long as you've got this window running and you see it's ready hand out the ip to your friends and you'll start to see them connecting from here quick addendum that i uh, forgot to put in to the actual video Control c to close down the server that about wraps up this tutorial for how to run the dark multiplayer client and server on Windows. I will be releasing one shortly on how to do so on a hired Linux server. If there's anything you feel I've missed or would like me to go over, please do drop a comment down below and let me know what particular aspect needs clarification. Thank you very much for watching this. I will see you next time. Bye!